ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the final day, the final match of WCS America, where we have Hero versus Revival. Hero up three to two. He's one win away from total victory. And I'm sure he didn't want it to happen this way necessarily. But now it's Revival, the player with, with some work to do here. Revival is going to have to figure out a way to either play Hero in that later stage of the game when both players had the large armies, or he's going to have to figure out a way to take Hero out early, like he did in game two, and like he did in game number one. Game six about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, the map is going to be Whirlwind. And again, the potential final game of WCS America. Of course, I am Axel Toss. I am joined by Axlab. Pleasure to be here casting the finals. And what a great final it has been so far. Again, to recap, Revival starting off winning two games. Hero looking a little bit mortal. Hero deciding, you know what? I'm done losing. Winning three in a row. One win away from being the total champion. Your Bread Protoss player in the top right hand location representing Team Liquid. He is Hero. And his opponent in the bottom left hand location of Whirlwind. Must win two in a row here against one of the best Protoss players in the world to become champion of WCS America, representing Team Evil Geniuses. He is Revival. The map is Whirlwind, the one four spawn map we have here in the WCS. This is a map where Zergs often choose to do some crazy builds based on the fact that it'll take longer for the Protoss to find him in all odds. Cross positions here. Hero putting the pylon at his natural expansion. And cross positions on Whirlwind, um, you know, it, 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 it's a setting that, you know, we're likely to see a longer game versus, you know, if they're, if they're closed positions, you know, if they're next to each other type situation. Of course, much easier to take additional expansions. Zerk player, less guesswork as far as taking your initial expansions expansions as well. We see Revival. He's up 3-2, but Revival quite frequently goes for early pools on Whirlwind. In fact, throughout, I mean, uh, in a lot of ZVZ. But also against Protoss, I seem to do it quite frequently as well. So going to next. This before, before, before Forge without scouting is a. Uh, Old move by Hero. He must think, you know what? I'm up three to two. Revival's not going to risk the the, the map yeah. deciding game on. Give us that one to scout, and then uh, one to stay back and build stuff. I would I would imagine. Who gets the privilege of going on an adventure? Looks like that guy does. Is it a privilege or is it? Uh, I consider it a privilege, man. It's a risky privilege to have. Yeah, a privilege to to one might not be a privilege to other. I mean, yeah, it's it's like the you know. Privilege to be a kamikaze fighter or something. Exactly, right? right. Yeah. Odds are, it, I would say only one in three probes returns home after Scott. You know, mission. that's that's a fair that's a fair claim, fair statistic. I would agree. Heroes had pretty good luck. I think three of the, I would say three of the five games. I think his first scouting probe made it home. Yeah. No, and his his yeah. initial probes have been very feisty indeed. So, um, poking up that ramp for a split second to see that creep wasn't there and gonna back away. Very optimal scout there. Revival has identified his opponent's not in the bottom right with the Overlord. Yep. Uh, and because his opponent's not in the bottom right, he's going to go ahead and take this location as a third base. Of course, if his opponent was in the bottom right, he'd be much more likely to take the base on the left side of the map. Probe is spotted. Hero going to scout out this third hatchery. Might meander to the natural expansion, but I think you can kind of guess at this point. Um, might go check on the gases too. No, looks like he's gonna stay away. Doesn't want to die to a queen. He cares for his probes. Yeah, yeah. He, he likes that track record of the majority of the initial probes surviving and a secondary oh, probes. Oh, it's out. gonna get seen. Uh, great heads up play by Rivald. Overlord keeping track of that exit, so he's gonna know there's an extra probe hiding somewhere on the map. That you gotta find it though. This this map is gigantic. Hide and seek. Yeah. And a that was an awesome use map settings game in Brutor, by the way. It was. I don't know if do you remember it? I I do. Nice. Um, there, there's a lot of great ones. I know. I miss them all. This probe had about a 30 second window to hide. It's found yeah. its spot. Zergreens are not yet looking for it. Getting even closer to the wall. Zelt coming to take control of the middle. 
He's going to take a swipe and back away. So I wonder what Hero's plans are here. I mean, he has that forge, so it's like, is he going to add on gateways right now? Because now would be the timing as far as, you know, you, you want the gateways to finish from warp gate complete, so you can warp in right away. Typically, you're going to warp in a few zealots to try to be very aggressive. Meanwhile, Revival really stocking up that gas, we can see. I, I think Hero's only building probes one at a time. He's got four oh. gases, no tech building. We might see some type of mass sentry. He, I think Hero's going for an 8 gate, but Revival's going for a bailing bust. Hero needs sentries. Does he have a mothership core? Warp Gate's not ready yet. He does have a mothership core. Yeah, it just it completed, but it doesn't have energy. It needs photon overcharge. The force fields have to be perfect here for Hero. Revival exploding into his opponent's natural ex expansion in the Bailey's. Getting through the wall is not going to be enough. The Bailey's trying to take out the cannons. The link Taking it down as well behind this. Nothing but lings in production here for Rob. He's about to finish up here. Warp Gate he needs to finish as well. Be more. I, here Hero looks really good. His Warp Gate. It's our finishing. If he can get. Sentries out, he can just force field all day. Hey. Hero has fields have not been deployed just yet there at the at the mineral line. Gonna try to block into the ramp. Only two getting by. Hero pulling some probes to deal with this. And it looks like he Warp gates on the map here for Hero. That probe at the bottom still is not deployed a pylon yet. Uh, Hero's still worried about that potential Ling Baneling aggression, playing very safe right now. Probably going to reset up that wall. Has those sentries there at his natural expansion as well. Really accumulated energy, and he's going up to a Twilight Council. So it looks like he's going to stay patient at this point in time, adding on two additional gateways, uh, and, and, and just wanting to get those upgrades back up and running. Up to five gateways to Twilight Council, plus one weapons on the way. Three more sentries being warped in. No Robo or Stargate. He definitely wants to put on some pressure. Heroes up 73 to 58 in supply, motioning across the map. Revival. Oh, the probe, the probe at the bottom. Zergings found oh, it out. Oh, they don't have speed though. Speed is not yet done. So the probe can put down another pylon. And now Revival is starting to starting to react. 24 links of production, doesn't have a Roach Horn, so no Roach is going to happen here. Some Spine Claws going down at the third base, but is it too little, too late? So many sentries coming forward, and Hero is going to have the ability to recall. Has this Mother's Core in the mix, approaching 80 energy, of course, needs 100 for that recall. Revival backing up, trying to get a few units out, and a Dark Shrine behind this. So there is a backup plan here for Hero. Revival right now focusing on trying to deal with the sentry, going to back up to the ramp. Hero playing this so well right now. Hero waiting for a few more buffering gateway units to make maximal use of those force fields. Speedings grapple with this many force fields. What can just speedings do? Oh, this is so dangerous for Revival trying to deal with this. 28 more speedlings on the way. The sentries enclosing themselves around with force fields, trying to stay warm, trying to stay together, trying to stay away from the terrifying Zerg swarm. Hero losing almost nothing in this engagement. He's ahead and resources lost 3,100 to 1,500, warping in a bunch of stalkers to join in, and a Dark Shrine is 80% of the way done. So this is only the calm before the storm here in favor of Hero, taking down more and more Ling's revival, desperately trying to stay alive. Hero continually reinforcing his attack, continually keeping his entire army alive with those force fields. Blink and Dark Shrine are almost complete. Hero just trying to keep the pressure on, keep his opponent busy while the real threat is developing. And there they are. Nope, four seconds. He actually needs to current boost the gateways. Or I, was, else, I, was like, yeah. I was like really excited to see the DTs. <laughs> no detection, <laughs> of course, on a field for revival, trying to upgrade his speedings. Force field so instrumental, keeping these speedings off the more vulnerable sentries. Oh, the zealots staying in front of the force fields, realizing how efficient they are against those zerglings, willing to try to protect their Protoss friends. And now the DTs swooping on into this third base location. Revival desperately trying to stay alive, but now the DTs swiping away everywhere. Revival, again, more crisis management. Two overseers in production. He has come too far to give up right now. Hero now advancing towards his natural expansion. He can taste victory. He can smell it. And he's moments away from achieving it again. Revival scrambling to come up with an answer, but 
There's so many DTs, so much Protoss in his natural. Even with the DTs revealed, there's just oh. too much Protoss. Zerg needs being massacred. Zerg base in ruins. Revival right there now. There it is. GG from Revival Hero takes victory, falling two games in a row in his first two games, but then winning four in a row. And now he is your WCS America champion. Look at him. Hands over his eyes here. He was always such an emotional player. Another victory on his belt there.